this is the Hamilton Distin Sugar Mill Plantation. Uh, he was a uh, Distin was a Pennsylvania industrialist who came down to Florida and bought four million acres of land around St. Cloud to build a sugar plantation. And he built it in 1885. And now that all that remains are the uh, ruins next to a canal. And we're going to go visit that right now. And this is Distin's St. Cloud Sugar Plantation. And we're going to uh, enter the property. As we can see, it's a very large scale operation. And we're gonna take a closer look at some of the different foundations of the sugar mill. So on closer inspection, this massive building was uh, constructed out of reinforced concrete. And the walls appear to be about two feet thick. And then there's some brick features inside of this first uh, building, larger building. That brings us to the second building, a smaller brick structure. So this is the uh, second smaller um, building, the brick building, and it's uh, two buildings, two brick structures. We're going to take a look inside as much as we can from the outside, and a uh, very fascinating um, uh, work of uh, industrial, uh, the late 19th century sugar mill industry. We will take a closer examination of this second brick structure. And it appears to be actually two, two structures separated by about four feet. Let's look at this uh, smaller one first. And there are some massive, uh, looks like granite blocks that are part of the construction of this. I'm not sure what the uh, purpose of these was. And then the adjacent, a little bit larger brick building. There are some views into the interior of this.
which of course I'm not going to go in for respect of the stability of this historic structure. But I'll peek in the best I can from the outside. And some iron bars. Like one big uh, iron bar on each of the four posts of this part of the building. And this part is caved in a little bit. And a series of several rooms through here. And there's actually a third structure of brick and it's not too far from the second brick structure and this has a uh, very similar iron, be iron beams coming out of it particularly at the top so three structures two brick and one uh, reinforced concrete. Just to show the juxtaposition of this third building, to the top right is the uh, brick structure and to the top left is the reinforced concrete structure. So, very large uh, project here that Distin uh, worked on. Ultimately ended in uh, failure. But the towns of uh, St. Cloud and Kissimmee arose from his, uh, from his work. Adjacent to the sugar mill is a series of canals. We're going to take this boardwalk out and take a look at the canals. And they're cypress uh, lined. So this canal heading out this way would have connected to the uh, sugar mill, which you could see in the distance right there. And then to the left side, this canal probably would have led back to the lake in, uh, in St. Cloud for transport of the sugar throughout the uh, nation and the world.